so welcome friends and today's video is for those of my uh, younger brothers and sister who are uh, studying the bsc either in first year second year or third year and uh, who will do msc so uh, today i am going to talk about jam exam now the full form of the jam is joint admission for msc it is a exam uh, which by cracking you can enter into iit so if you have good ranks in your jam exam you can take admission in iit for doing your msc now uh, for that there is a basic requirement from bsc is that you should have at least secure 55 percent marks if you are in general category and 50 percent marks in aggregate if you are in obc or scst category now these are well known things but what is jam exam that you should know so so the exam paper which comes for jam exam it is based on your bsc syllabus you can look at the syllabus of jam exam that you can get any official website of jam uh, for example this time that is in 2080 my home institute iit bombay so uh, you know i am i am doing msc or rather i say that i was doing msc because just today I finished my uh, last presentation and uh, unofficially my MSc is over and uh, I am waiting for the result. So uh, in this year IIT Bombay organized the JM exam and you can find out the general uh, information about JM exam from the official website. So uh, if you download the syllabus you can see that this syllabus is generally uh, matches exactly with the syllabus of university of uh, every university in India and in some universities like uh, the University of West Bengal uh, like Calcutta University or, or West Bengal State University Presidency University their syllabus is even larger than JAM exam so you don't have to prepare uh, extra for JAM if you prepare your BSc well you can easily crack JAM exam so my main motivation for this video or main uh, objective of this video is that to tell you what exactly you should do for jam exam now uh, many people have misconception that from the first year or second year you have to prepare for jam you have to focus on jam solve more questions but that doesn't require this exam is not uh, that hard at all it is easy you can easily answer the question if you, if your basic concept is clear so i will suggest you to first build up your basic concept very uh, crystal clear because bsc is the time where you can develop your concept okay so this three year you should utilize for developing your concept not to say say to yourself for cracking just a exam you can crack jam exam without reading just by solving some multiple choice questions also but that doesn't make any sense first you should clear your all concept and then it will be very easier to crack the exam so you can just solve the questions for last uh, four or three months before the exam and it will be more than enough for getting a good rank now uh, the one thing which i should say especially is that at our time the exam was little bit easier in the sense that at that time if you secure uh, 70 to say 80 marks your rank would be below 10 uh, that time highest marks is between 70 to 80 but now the situation is completely changed at that time in chemistry the highest mark is like 95 so basically the question becomes easier and another thing is that now for the preparation of this exam you have to equally focus the all three parts organic inorganic and physical in our time if you just do two subjects well and other one just okay okay then you have fair chance for getting a good rank but now everyone prepare all three subjects so you should also prepare all three subjects and for that you don't need to uh, prepare huge syllabus just follow the syllabus of the jam and prepare each and every topic well because that will help you in the long term okay so uh, just focus on your basic concept and prepare all three subjects well so that will help you and uh, that's all if you 
need any further uh, information or if you have any query regarding this you can let me know in the comment section i will surely reply you so thank you for watching and best of luck for you